Let's go ahead and make a purchase. This should kick us over to our upsell. There we go, there is Ty Lopez with our upsell page. We can go ahead and add this to our order as well, or we can hit no thanks and that'll take you over to the downsell page. Let's start off by going to the downsell page. All right, there is Russell on stage and we have the opportunity to buy our upsell. Let's go ahead and add this. And now I should be taken to the thank you page where I can see my orders. I've got my $1,000 advanced course. I've got the beginner course and the audio offer, which was the bump offer with the primary order. What's up everybody, it's Dave here from Profitable Tools. In this video, we're gonna look at how to build funnels without Woo. Of course, I mean WooCommerce. This is gonna be a replacement for something like ClickFunnels, CartFlows, or even ThriveCart. Now, that's not to disparage any of those products. I use and enjoy all of them uh, for certain projects, but sometimes you wanna be able to build a funnel in WordPress without using WooCommerce, and that's what this video is all about. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna give you an overview of the funnel I'm gonna be building throughout this video. So I wanna sell a beginner level course for 100 bucks. That's gonna be our primary offer. Now we are gonna include a bump offer, which will be a digital download. It's gonna be an audio file that you'll be able to download. That's gonna be an additional 29 bucks. Then of course, they'll complete their order. And instead of going right to the thank you page, we're gonna hit them when their wallet is still open. This is a known way to really increase the average cart value. So we're gonna go right into an upsell where they can actually buy a $2,000 per year year advanced course with a weekly mastermind. Uh, so we're going right from a $100 offer up to a very expensive offer. Now, if they don't take that, we're gonna go to a downsell, which is gonna be an advanced course all alone without the mastermind for a one-time price of $1,000. Finally, after that, they will be taken to a thank you page. So this is a very common type of sales funnel. If you're selling any sort of high-end consulting, you'll kind of offer something a little bit more affordable. And then right away, you can offer something higher end to people who want more results right away. Now we're gonna be using LearnDash to create our courses and I'm gonna to need to create three different courses here. We're gonna need a beginner level course, that will be our primary offer. We'll need an advanced course, that will be our downsell. And then we need the advanced course with the mastermind as the upsell. I'm gonna keep that as a separate course even though the content would overlap a lot because we'll also post recordings of the mastermind right to that course so it's easier to keep things organized if everything is separated out. I've got a demo WordPress site already created. We are using LearnDash for our courses. And you can see I went ahead and just created three courses here. Like we just talked about the advanced with the mastermind. That is the upsell, the advanced course, that is the downsell, as well as the beginner course, which is our primary product. For that bump offer, remember I'm gonna do an audio file. This will be a digital download and I'm gonna protect it using wishlist member. Back over in WordPress, we'll go to the media library. I've got my MP3 here of my digital download. Let's go ahead and upload it. Over in wishlist member, I've already created a membership level and called it audio purchase. There are other ways we could do this, but I think this is the simplest way. So let's go ahead and protect this content. Look we'll over here to where it says content protection. I'm gonna go down to the bottom where it says files. Let's enable file protection. I'll select my MP3, choose an action, and add levels to content. Then I'm gonna choose the level that I created earlier, hit audio purchase and add to level. Now we can see it's been updated and protected against download unless you're a member of the audio purchase membership. Next, I'm gonna need to add some pages to my WordPress website. I'm gonna need a beginner's course sales page. I'll need an advanced course sales page. That will be my upsell page. And then I'm also going to need an advanced course sales page as the downsell page. Beyond that, we're just gonna need a simple checkout page as well as a thank you page to send people after they've completed their purchase. Let's get started with this beginner's course sales page. Now, as usual, I'm using the Astra theme to build out this website, which also means I can use their Astra Starter Sites plugin to find a good template to use as a jumping off point for my sales page. Let's go ahead and add a template right now. I'll go under Appearance, Starter Templates. Let's look at this LearnDash Academy template. I'll grab this home page and just import that one page into my site. Let's go ahead and edit this page just a little bit. All right, we got a new, much more catchy headline and I've made the buttons red so people will be sure to buy it. I'll just rename this page so that we can keep track of it. We'll call it Beginner Course. Give it the slug Beginner. Update. Now we need to add in this advanced course sales page. Let's do that. This time I'll do Pages Add New. Edit with Elementor. I'll grab another template from Astra. 
right inside of Elementor. This time I'll grab the About page and we'll import this one. All right, let's customize this so it functions as our upsell page. All right, this is looking like a great upsell page. Let's publish it. Of course, we need to rename this as well and let's give it a new slug. Next, we're gonna to need to make the downsell page, which will basically be the same thing as the upsell page, but without the mastermind course. For this, I'll just turn this page into a template and then reuse it on another page. Go to the folder here, choose my templates. Here's our upsell page, I'll just insert this. Of course, we need another headline so we can recognize that this is a separate page. All right, here we go, all set. This is our downsell page. So next we need to create the checkout page and the thank you page using some short codes from the upsell plugin. To do this, I'm gonna create two new pages. One I'll call checkout and another I'll call thank you. Back over in the upsell plugin under settings and then pages, we can see there's a couple short codes we need to add to our checkout page as well as to our order summary page. You can also choose the pages that you just created right here from this dropdown list. The only thing that needs to be on those pages is these short codes. You can of course design them however you like. If you wanna add in testimonials, uh, other custom messages, you can definitely do that. But those short codes must be on the pages for the app to function properly. Let's copy the upsell checkout short code. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this page. I'll edit it with Elementor. We'll add a two column layout here. On one side, I'll add the short code. And on the other side, I'll add maybe some testimonials. All right, let's update this page. Next, let's create the order summary page, or as I like to refer to it, the thank you page. I'm gonna grab this short code right here. We'll go back over to our pages. Under thank you, let's go ahead and open this up with Elementor. We'll add a new section. We'll make this fit to screen. I'll add in a nice little message here. We'll add a little bit of padding. Of course, we have to include the short code, paste that in, maybe add a little bit of padding. Let's go ahead and update. All right, so now we have all of the pages created inside of WordPress. The only thing left to do is go ahead and set up everything inside of the upsell plugin. So we're gonna need to add four products. We'll have our beginner course, our advanced course with the mastermind, our advanced course, as well as the audio presentation. Over an upsell plugin, I will go down to products and hit add new. We're gonna start with our beginner course. This is hundred bucks and it is a digital product. This is gonna be a single payment, not a subscription. And and I don't need to turn on product quantity because you're only gonna buy one. There's a header and footer section so I can inject some codes here if I like. Under URL options, I wanna put in the URL of our upsell. Let's go over to pages and grab that URL. I'll paste that in there. If we had a downsell, we'd put it under skip purchase redirect URL, but because this is our primary product, we don't have a downsell for this product. We are gonna have an order bump for this product, but I'll have to come back in a second and add that in because I haven't created the audio product yet. I'm gonna go down to integrations and choose the beginner learn dash course. This way, when someone buys, they will automatically be enrolled in the beginner level learn dash course. I'm also going to turn on account creation so that when someone buys, they automatically have an account set up on my WordPress website. Let's add another product. This time I'll do the audio presentation so that we can add that as our bump order to our primary offer. Products add new. This one's 29 bucks. It's a digital product. Under digital, I'll go ahead and add the media file. Right over here where it says file to download, that's where I want to attach the MP3. I could add multiple files here if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and publish this one. Now let's go back to our beginner course and add the audio offer as our bump offer. We'll go over to order bump and we'll choose our audio offer. Let's give it a nice headline and we'll add a product image for the order bump as well. I'm just gonna choose this guy. You can have the bump offer checked by default if you want. That seems a little bit sleazy to me, so I will leave that off. And let's go ahead and publish. Oh, I almost forgot. For our audio offer, we need to integrate this with wishlist members so that people have access. So let's open this back up and we'll go to integrations, choose enable wishlist member, and we'll choose our corresponding membership level that we set up at the beginning of the video. Hit update. All right, all that's left now is to add our two remaining courses, the advanced course with the mastermind and the standalone advanced course. Let's start off with the advanced course with the mastermind and go to add new. This one's gonna be 2000 bucks. It's a digital product, but it's gonna be a subscription. It's gonna charge yearly. Since this is gonna go on until the customer cancels, I'll leave the charge recurring limit off. You could offer a subscription trial if you wanted, but I don't. And let's create our last course, the downsell. It's the advanced course without the mastermind. This one's a one-time purchase of a thousand bucks and we'll connect this up in LearnDash as well. Turn on account creation and hit update. 
All right, now that we've got all of our products added into the upsell plugin and we've got the sales pages built out with Elementor, we have to connect the two. So we're gonna get some URLs from our products and add them to the buy buttons on our Elementor page. We'll start off with the beginner course, our primary offer. I'll open that up inside of the upsell plugin. Then we're gonna go to URL options right here. We have the purchase URL. That's the URL we want to use for the buy button. I'll copy it. Let's go ahead and open up that page, the beginner course. Then we'll go over to the button right here and paste in our buy button. I'll hit update. Go ahead and add it to the buy button at the bottom of the page as well. After someone buys our primary offer, they're taken to the upsell page, which is our advanced course with the mastermind. So let's go ahead and grab the URL from that product inside of the upsell plugin and connect it to our sales page. We'll open up the advanced course product, go over to the URL options, grab that purchase URL, edit the page with Elementor. We'll go ahead and change the button right here to direct to the purchase page. Now, because this is an upsell and we also have a downsell, we want to add in a skip URL that's located right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it to this text that I've added below the button. And we'll just add a link in here. Let's go ahead and update. Then finally, let's handle that downsell. Let's open up the advanced course without the mastermind and do the same thing. We'll go over to URL options, grab our purchase URL, edit the sales page in Elementor, change the button URL, hit update. We'll grab our skip URL as well. Even though there's not another downsell, we can give someone the option to finish their transaction. Add that to the text below the button. Go ahead and hit update. And there we should be good. Let's go ahead and check out the funnel that we've built. We'll start off at the beginner course page. This is our sales page for the primary offer. I'll go ahead and hit the buy button. It's gonna kick me over to my cart page that I built here. Now this is just a standard Elementor page. You can customize this to look however you like. You'd go ahead and enter your billing details. There is a bump offer down here. Now I didn't take Take any time to style this page. There are quite a few styling options over in the upsell plugin. So for example, if I want to change the background color, I could do that, or I could even style the order bump. Let's give it a border color of red and we'll do dotted. We'll change the background color. We'll make the description text color a little bit darker. We'll make the checkbox text size larger and darker as well. And we'll make it bold. All right, let's go ahead and update this. Now this is the bump offer that we just styled. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. There we go. Now it's not beautiful, but you get the point. You could style this to look really nice. Let's go ahead and make a purchase. This should kick us over to our upsell. There we go, there is Ty Lopez with our upsell page. We can go ahead and add this to our order as well, or we can hit no thanks and then I'll take you over to the downsell page. Let's start off by going to the downsell page. All right, there is Russell on stage and we have the opportunity to buy our upsell. Let's go ahead and add this. And now I should be taken to the thank you page where I can see my orders. I've got my $1,000 advanced course. I've got the beginner course and the audio offer, which was the bump offer with the primary order. Order. If I wanted to download my MP3, I can do that right here. So there you have it. That's how you build a sales funnel in WordPress without using WooCommerce. So what do I like about this plugin? Well, I love the fact that you can do this without using ClickFunnels or without having to have WooCommerce with a series of expensive add-ons. I also like that it works with any page builder. I like Elementor, but maybe you like Divi or Thrive Architect or something like that. Well, it's gonna work no matter which platform you like to use. You can also do subscriptions here without having to buy an expensive WooCommerce add-on. 200 bucks a year just for Woo subscriptions is a little bit hard to swallow sometimes. It also works with Affiliate WP as well as iDev Affiliate. There's extensions you can download and connect them together. You can use PayPal and Stripe, so you'll be able to accept currencies from all over the world, although not the entire world. There's certainly plenty of options there with both of those supported. And it's also very reasonably priced. Uh, you know, you can get a single site or a 10 site pack for much, much less than a few months of ClickFunnels. Now, in my opinion, the downsides of using Upsell plugin are definitely there, but they're much more minimal. There's no templates included. I really wish there was maybe some built-in templates or maybe a, an Elementor add-on pack or something like that where you could very easily get a series of sales pages and upsell pages. I think that would be a really nice addition. There's also no custom post type. It just uses the basic WordPress pages, which makes it a little bit harder to stay organized. Now, it does have the option to add some folders in so you can bundle things up, but it's not as nice and visual as something like cart flows. There's no drag and drop funnel builder 
folder where you can clearly see one step going to the next one. As you can probably tell from watching this video, there's a lot of back and forth with grabbing links and short codes and back into pages and back into products. And I think that could all be simplified if this were somehow unified into a custom post type. Overall, while this is definitely a little bit more techy than just using ClickFunnels, it definitely gives you the ability to do some really powerful selling techniques without all of the complication of WooCommerce. And I really like that. If you want to grab your copy of the upsell plugin, I'll leave the link down below. That'll be our referral link for the channel. If you have any questions about sales funnels or upsell plugin specifically, leave me a question down below. Or you know what would be even better is if you joined us over on the Facebook group, we have a great community of like-minded entrepreneurs that are trying to make a more profitable and automated business. Join the Facebook group today. It's totally free. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something and I'll see you in the next review. Thank you